Phil Lockers, you weren't going to job in this shit, didn't you? I've had three jobs. Three, all the way through? Well, got sacked my first one. Um, <laughs> Why? <laughs> did I not tell you what happened to me? <laughs> it was an Aldi, weren't it? And I was flapping, because I was in the warehouse. Oh, you were having a forklift, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, and I was flapping because you get a drug test, don't you? Oh, yeah. And I was smoking a lot of weed at the start of lockdown, because my head was a cabbage. And, um, yeah, you have these little forklifts. Yeah, it was a cabbage. It was like, just my head was an actual cabbage. <laughs> one single, that's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you have to have these little, like, forklift picker things, so you pick up the stock, you put them on pallets wrap the pallets up and you put them in like a bay yeah and then like the lorry drivers come they collect it put it on the truck and then take it to all these stores and that so like i had my uh, pallet to fill it put it in the bay and as a reverse back i went into like a massive pallet of cottage cheese <laughs> went fucking oh that's everywhere. the worst thing to crash into it went everywhere i didn't see anyone around so Couldn't i was crash like into cabbages though <laughs> <laughs> no one was around so i was like oh i've gone away with it yeah so i just like drove off yeah. and then um after the shift uh, it was only my first weekend, so I was like, I was nervous about it because I was like, I've just fucking ruined loads of cottage cheese. And the manager was like, Oh, are you getting on? I was like, Yeah, sounds like dead easy. And then he went, um, Got the area manager if you want to, you know, I'll introduce you to him. And that. I was like, Oh, sounds. So they're chatting to him. They're like, Are oh, you finding things all right? And I was like, Yeah, it's dead easy. Like, I'm getting used to it. They were like, Anything to report back? And I was like, Nah, nothing. Like, <laughs> everything, everything's good. And they were like, oh, Okay, yeah, do you want to have a look at this here? got a screen in the office uh, and i don't know why it didn't cross my mind that like a multi fucking million pound business wouldn't have security uh, cameras right uh, <laughs> and he's like hey look at this video but you just see me fucking reversing so hard <laughs> like crashing into it i get out and i'm just looking around going oh bad that in it and then i just get in and drive off <laughs> and then i was like yeah do you want me to come in tomorrow he went nah i think it's best that you don't so i was like sound so then i am um, Worked in Pizza Hut for a bit doing deliveries, mm. and now I'm in Burger Joe's on the Whittle. Deliver- Hashtag Burger Joe. Sick Shout place, out. mate. Independent gaff. Mm. Make sure you support. If you're ordering, get deliveries. You'll get your boy there. Oh, mate. With a, with, with a smile. Is there anyone oh, else do deliveries? Well, there's three of us, but... Uh, so people are going to be fuming when they're the They'll be fuming, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you might get me. Just all the three times, and you might get me. Um, and then they got stabbed. At delivering? Well, I was on break. Well, not on break. It was just before it started, and some guy like offered to stab me. Offered? Well, not like. Uh... <laughs> Would you enjoy a stabbing, sir? <laughs> oh, please! I could do with one, you know. Um, I was having a sig before work. Out the back, I always have like my coffee and sig before I start. And uh, this guy came over and went, like, "Give me a ciggy," like quite aggressive. And I was like, "No." Like you know me, I'm mm. not confrontational at all. Like, nah. you, but he was just like, it was just like the way he said it, like don't yeah. then. And I was like, no. And then he like mumbled under his breath. He went, oh, fuck off. Like that. And I went, what did you say? And he went, you weird. Fuck off. I'll stab you. And then he reached into his waist. Yeah. And done that. But he pulled nothing out. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like stood in front of me. Just with his hand like that. And then I just started laughing. I went, with what? I was like, what are you going to stab me with? And then he started mumbling, walked off, came back and put a pair of gloves on. And I was like... He's probably got like a samurai sword or something. Yeah. Like the way no one puts gloves on unless they're going to fucking do something. Then he pulled his phone out. I'm just talking on the phone, looking at me. And I just shit myself and ran back inside. Uh... <laughs> it was heavy that though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like... <laughs> yeah, over... That's the thing about you though. Like, it surprised me. Like, you've surprised me a couple of times. If people do, like, with your demeanour and like, your personality and that, people expect you to be like... Because you're quite like polite. Mm. People expect you to be like a shit house. You're not a confrontational person. No. But you won't, like, some, I've seen it a few times where people have give you a bit of shit and you're like, what? Yeah. You, you will front it, like. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of these. I bottle everything up. I bottle it up so, like, when I pop, I fucking yeah. go off. Yeah, I've seen you front a few people, I'm like, fucking hell, Callum. <laughs> like, seven, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm stuck between us. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do fucking pop off, like. Yeah. But yeah, them deliveries, mate, some of the stuff that happens on those. I had this fucking guy, right, and knocked on his door. And like, you know, when you have like the, um, like the frosted glass on the front door. Yeah. Yeah. I knocked on it and I could see him coming towards the front door with like this black t-shirt on and then the t-shirt disappeared and he opened the door with no top on and he's just looking at me with his fucking belly out. I'm stood there with the food and he went, you all right, mate? And I was like, yeah, you. I'm just fucking staring at his nipples, handing the food. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? And then there was this other guy straight after it, right? And cause it's contactless delivery. Mm. Can't pay with cash. 
so like everything's done with card. Yeah, you just gotta put it down outside. No, no, it's like over the phone, like oh, card yeah, details. Yeah. yeah. So no, I mean the food. You're not meant to like hand food. it to them or not. No, yeah. no, no. So I went to this um this guy's house, and this was probably the most mind blown I have ever been in my life. This guy came to the door. He went, "Oh, you're right, mate." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I got your food here." He walked past me, went to his car, got his coat out the car, put his coat on, closed the door, went through his house, came out the back garden through his back door gate, came to me, went, oh, cheers, mate, took the food, went through his back gate into his house. <laughs> Why? I have no fucking idea what happened. I thought I had to ask there, you know. But like, what, like, what why have you just done that, mate? That's going to do me head in forever. You... <laughs> forever, though. It's been two months, and I'm still thinking about yeah, it. It keeps me up at night. I'd have to go back. <laughs> I'd have to go and knock at his house right now. Do you remember where it was? Yeah, yeah, I do. And then should we all go? <laughs> just say his address, though. <laughs> <laughs> just, just get loads of people down. 